Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with the limit state of design of slabs. So the problem is, design a one-way slab for an office floor which is continuous over T-beam spaced at 3.5 meter intervals. Assume the live load is 4 kN per meter square and adopt M20 grade concrete and FE415 grade steels. That is HYSD boss, high yield strength deformed boss. Okay, so the given values, given data. So L equal to 3.5 meter, so length 3.5 meter, then load Q equal to 4 kN per meter square, so then FCK equal to 20 Newton per mm square, then FY equal to 415 Newton per mm square. So these are all the given values. So now we have to find out the uh, depth of slab. So now solution first one depth of slab so depth assume span by depth equal to 26 that is uh, in is 456 2000 class 23.2.1 we can take span by depth equal to 26 ok so now effective depth d equal to span by 26 ok so now span is uh, 3500 so that is 3.5 meter that is 3500 uh, mm divided by 26 so now d equal to 135 mm ok so now we can round off so d equal to 140 mm ok so we can take cover is 25 mm so now overall depth equal to 140 plus 25 equal to 165 mm ok so now uh, after that uh, this so now we found out uh, depth of slab so next we can find out the load calculation so now loads so sulfide so sulfide of slab equal to so depth is 0 0.165 into the unit weight of concrete is 25 so the value will be 4.125 newton per mm square okay so next thing is finish the load finish load equal to 0 0.875 Newton per mm square. So that is kilo Newton per mm square. That is kilo Newton per mm square. So that is kilo Newton per meter square. Okay. Next thing is uh, total dead load equal to 5 kilo Newton per meter square. So then live load. So live load is given 4.5 that is sorry 4 kilo Newton per meter square so now total load so now total load equal to 9 kilo Newton per meter square so next thing is we calculate the bending moment and shear force bending moment and shear force calculation so now uh, table 12 and 13 in IS 456 Maximum negative bending moment at the uh, support next uh, to the end of the support. So that is uh, MU negative equal to the formula 1.5 into G into L square divided by 10 plus Q into L square divided by 9. Okay, so now we can substitute all the values over here. So 1.5 into so now g equal to 5 into l is 3.5 square divided by 10 plus q equal to 4 into 3.5 square divided by 9 ok so this is 5 is uh, dead load and 4 is live load ok so now solving this we got the value of 17.35 kilonewton per sorry kilonewton into meter so the mu negative 
is uh, 17.35 kilonewton meter okay then positive bending moment mu positive so the formula will be 1.5 into again g l square divided by 10 plus q l square divided by sorry uh, divided by 12 q l square divided by 10 okay now we can substitute all the values 1.5 into the value will be g value will be 5 5 in 3.5 square divided by 12 plus q is 4 into 3.5 square divided by 10 okay solving this mu positive the value will be 15 kilonewton meter okay so now we got uh, negative bending moment and as well as positive bending moment so now we can uh, find out the maximum shear force at the support section so the maximum shear force VU equal to 1.5 into 0 0.6 into G plus Q into L. Okay, so now we can substitute all the values 1.5 into 0 0.6. So G plus Q, the total load will be 9. Okay, so into L is 3.5. Okay, solving this VU, we got the value 28.35 kilonewton. So next thing is check for depth. So depth check. So MU limit equal to 0 0.138 FCK B D square. So now we can substitute all the values. So 0 0.138 in the FCK is 20 into 10 power 3 into. So the B is uh, 140 square into 10 power minus 6 okay so the b is uh, 10 power 3 and uh, d is 140 square uh, into 10 power minus 6 so because of kilonewton meter so now uh, we got the value of 54.1 kilonewton meter okay so now mu e is less than mu limit okay so section is under reinforces section next thing is reinforcement calculation so the formula will be mu equal to 0 0.87 fy ast into d into 1 minus ast into fy divided by fck b d okay so we know the formula so now uh, we can substitute all the values over here. So M e equal to 17.35 into 10 power 6 equal to 0 0.87. F y is 415 into A H T value we have to find out into D value is uh, 140 into 1 minus A H T again we have to find out into uh, 415 divided by F C K is 20 into B is uh, 10 power. 3 that is 1000 into depth is 140 ok so solving this we got the value a s t equal to 360 mm square divided by meter ok so now we can provide 10 mm dia bars at 150 mm center to center ok so now a s t equal to 524 mm square okay <coughs> the same reinforcement is provided for positive bending moment also okay so now distribution reinforcement so distribution steels 0 0.0012 that is uh, 0 0.12 percentage into b d so b is 10 power 3 into d is 165 so that is overall depth so now we got the value 198 mm square okay so now provide 10 mm dia box at spacing 300 mm center to center so now a the new ASD will be 262 mm square okay so check for here tau v equal to 
V u divided by B d. So now we can substitute V u equal to 28.35 into 10 power 3 divided by B d. So 10 power 3 into d is 140. Okay, solving this we got the value of 0 0.20 Newton per mm square. So now we can uh, calculate PT value. PT equal to 100 AST divided by BD. So now we got uh, substitute 100 into 262 reinforcement. So that is the distribution reinforcement divided by BD. So 1000 into 140. Okay, so now we got the value of 187. So now as per table 19 in IS 456-2000 so K into tau C equal to 1.27 into 0 0.30 so now we got the value of 0 0.38 Newton per mm square so now tau V is less than tau C so save against here okay so this is the method we can solve the problem again we'll see in next video thank you